Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here in that brand new video checking out the latest horror packs. If you guys don't know what the horror packs are, they're monthly subscription services where you guys can sign up for either a DVD pack or a Blu-ray pack, and each month you guys get sent either, you know, four different DVDs or four different Blu-rays, depending on which one you guys sign up for. I have a link below as well where you guys can find out more about the horror pack if you guys are interested in finding out about it and signing up and everything. And also, too, in the Blu-ray packs, the one thing that's really cool is they always have a limited edition exclusive release to the horror pack, so it's like something where it's maybe even released on DVD in the past, but, you know, Horror Pack has exclusive rights, you know, to release a Blu-ray of it, so it's never been a Blu-ray before, or a movie where it's never been released on any format before, and, you know, the Horror Pack is releasing it for the first time in the Blu-ray pack. But let's see, take a look and see what's in here. I believe this one here is the DVD pack. Now, the first one in here is the film, um, Tremors 3. I actually, thought, I, I feel like every single one of these movies are fun films. I actually, you know, I believe I watched some of the series as well, and I know there was going to be, you know, like a Tremors, like, um, you know, a pilot for a brand new series, you know, that Kevin Bacon was in and they filmed it and then it never ended up getting picked up. Hopefully someday they end up releasing that one just on like a Blu-ray or something because I think it was like an hour-long pilot movie, which I really wanted to see that one. So hopefully someday they end up putting that out on something. Um, the next one in here is uh, Dead Rising Watchtower. And I know there was two of these in the series. And I believe these originally were on Crackle, like the Crackle streaming service. I'm, I'm pretty sure... This is the second film, but I'm not I'm not sure though if this is the first film or the second movie in the series. Like I said, I know that there was two of them, and as I remember though, they were actually pretty fun uh, zombie films. Uh, the next one here is the film uh, The Tall Men, and I think. I might have reviewed this in the past. I'm not 100% sure, certain, though. I'm pretty sure this was like a Slender Man type movie. Because I remembered, like, I think I saw the trailer or something. I think that might have been what this was. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, and the last one in here in the uh, DVD pack is the film here on, with, with starring Lance Hendrickson, uh, Needlestruck. And I, I can't remember if I reviewed this one in the past or not. Yeah, I, I, I totally can't remember. I watched so many different things. It's so hard to remember, you know, with certain ones, especially with horror titles, that there's so many things that I watch all the time. Uh, now I'm going to take a look, though, and see what's inside of the Blu-ray pack. And the first one in here in the Blu-ray pack is, um, and this is the, is this the first film? Yeah, we yeah Ouija, and I, I, I you know a lot of this, these movies kind of got mixed reviews. Um, the the second movie, which was the prequel film, I think was a better movie, you know, better made film. But I actually like this movie as well. I don't know, I I, I like a lot of these kind of movies, and like there's been there's so many of these kind of Ouija board kind of movies. But this honestly was one of the better ones, like because like in the like right after this one, they made a whole ton of them, like a whole slew of these Ouija films. They still make a lot of them to this day, you know, all the time. Time, and some of them are not amazing at all. This one, though, actually was one of the better ones. I, it was also, like I said, one of the first ones that kind of launched them making so many of them. The next one here is the M. Night Shyamalan film, uh, The Visit, which is another one. Which I feel like this was the movie where and like Shyamalan kind of had like a comeback to doing horror and like getting you know better attention and stuff for his movies because like I, I've always really liked his films I think you know of course like The Sixth Sense is the best you know movie all around but the one that I really love to watch is Unbreakable so I really can't wait to see Glass because to see the characters again from that and then the characters from Split coming together so I really can't wait to see that but the one that I also really love that hopefully someday comes to Blu-ray is The Visit I feel like that one was just like, like such an amazing movie that kind of has like mixed reviews and everything but this one though was actually one of the better found footage movies that I thought was actually really pretty effective uh, the next one here is the film here uh, Don't Hold Your Breath which um, Jared Cohn, Cohn directed this one, or Jared Cohn directed this one, who I did two different movies with him in the past. He did one called The Valley Drowner and a movie called uh, Devil's Domain. So it's kind of cool. I actually don't think I've ever actually seen this one, so definitely look forward to checking this one out. And the last one in here, and I, this one is the Horror Pack exclusive one, and it's uh, Lou Simon's um, film here called Three. And it's like I said, it's a signed copy, and that's one of the exclusive titles in the Horror Pack uh, this month like i said i always that's one thing i really like with the horror you know blu-ray pack is that they always have exclusive titles in here and stuff like that like i said that maybe have never been released on blu-ray before or exclusively in the set for the first time release so that's a really really cool thing like i always said guys if you guys enjoyed these videos definitely give this video
video a thumbs up. And like I said, too, if you guys are interested in finding out more about the horror pack, check out the link below. Thanks again for the support, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.